Detecting Nuclear Radiations Most methods of detecting alpha, betas, and gamma rays are based on the fact that these radiations have ionizing effect. Uh, we detect by detecting the ionizing effect of these three emissions. Okay, the ionizing effect. Huh? Except film batch, okay, or the photographic plate. Uh, that one we use uh, penetrating power, okay, or the ph photographic effect. All others uh, we use the ionizing effects of radioactive emissions to detect the presence of the this uh, radioactivity. Yeah? Gold leaf electroscope. Can any of you tell me what's the functions of a gold leaf electroscope other than using in uh, to detect radioactive? Okay, you have learned this in form three. Okay, form three, yeah. Gold leaf electroscope. So what's the use of gold leaf electroscope? It's to detect the presence of charge. Not necessarily must be electrons, right? it's to detect charge. Anything that carry charge, okay, let's say you have an object uh, which carry, let's say, negative charge. Okay? So if we carry negative charge, if this object is brought close to uh, the disk of electroscope, it will push the electrons, this is a, plate, a metal plate, okay, it will push the electrons to go down. It push the electrons to go down, then the gold leaf will open, okay, and uh, then we know this object carry charge okay so it's used to detect charge if it carry positive charge it carry positive charge then it will attract the electrons to go up electrons electrons attract the electrons go up leaving the positive charge uh, here and uh, then the gold leaf will open again okay so if you brings any object uh, charged object close to the disk the gold leaf open, then these objects carry charge. Okay, if this not opens, that means it has no charge. So that is the functions of a gold leaf electroscope uh, to detect the presence of charge. Other than that, okay, this gold leaf electroscope can also be used to detect uh, radioactive emissions. Okay, but uh, limited to alpha particles only. Yeah? It can only use to detect the presence of alpha particles only. Beta and gamma cannot because the ionizing power is too low. Okay. Uh, so how to do that? Eh? How to do that? First, okay. First to detect uh, the presence of alpha particles. Eh? Okay, the presence of alpha particles. First, we charged the gold leaf electroscope. Okay, I'm not going to teach you how to charge it. Okay, uh, if you want, maybe you can you can read your uh, form three book. Okay, they have learned there the, the, there's uh, they will teach you how to charge this uh, gold leaf electroscope uh, by inductions. We charge this gold leaf electroscope. Uh, okay, you can charge it uh, with positive charge or charge it with negative charge. It doesn't matter. Okay, positive, negative will do. Just either one. Okay. Uh, in this illustration, okay, uh, it shows that this gold leaf electroscope is charged with positive charge. Now, after the gold leaf electroscope is charged, the gold leaf here will open. Okay, it will open. Now, if you leave this electroscope uh, in in the uh, room uh, for uh, ten to twenty minutes, the gold leaf will close. Okay. If the surrounding is very dry, um, it will take longer for the gold leaf to close. But if the surrounding is very wet, okay, with a uh, high humidity, uh, then it will close uh, faster, okay. But even though it's closed faster, also it will take a few minutes, uh, okay, for the gold leaf to close uh, after you charge it, okay, after you charge it. The gold leaf opens again. Okay, then, uh, even though it's uh, the humidity is humidity is very high, also we take a few minutes, huh? okay. Um, but, but if after you charge it, okay, after you charge it, and then you bring a radioactive source with alpha particles, huh? okay, alpha particles, radioactive source close to this uh, gold leaf electroscope again okay, and exposed to the disk uh, 
then you will find that the gold leaf close very fast. Okay, just a few seconds. Okay, maybe 10 seconds, 20 seconds, okay, then it close already. Yep. Okay. Uh, if this happens, then this is uh, means that this is a radioactive source. Uh, okay. Because if you bring other things, uh, it won't close so fast. Okay. It will take a few, at least a few minutes uh, to close. But if you use, uh, bring an ob uh, this is a radioactive source, uh, okay, you will make it close very fast. Okay. Uh, and the more intense the radiation, the faster the leaf falls. That means this, the higher the rate of radiation, uh, okay? So the faster the gold leaf will close, uh, okay? Mm, reason. Reason, um, that is because if there is alpha source, uh, this alpha source, it will emit alpha radiations. After it emits alpha radiations, it will create a lot of charged particles around. As I told you, right, it will create a lot of uh, positive, because it ionizes the air, okay? It ionizes the air, it, it creates a lot of positive charge and a lot of negative charge. Okay, positive charge and negative charge around. Eh? Okay, so the alpha particles ionize the air, okay? So the air contains a lot of positive and negative charge particles. Um, if the electroscope is charged with positive charge, then it will attract the negative charge particles, right? Okay, so so the negative charge particles will be attracted to the plate. Okay, yeah? and uh, of course the positive charge particles will be uh, repelled and move away. Yeah? The, the negative charge particles will go to the plate and uh, the negative charge particles will neutralize the charge of the electroscope and therefore uh, the gold leaf close. Okay, so very soon, eh, uh, this electroscope will become neutral. After neutral, then the gold leaf close. Okay, the gold leaf will close. Eh? Um, so that's why. Okay, that's why uh, alpha particles that uh, can cause the gold leaf of this uh, charged elect uh, electroscope to close very fast. Okay, but this method is not suitable for detecting beta and gamma radiation because the ionizing effects is so low. So first, you need to know. It, uh, this gold leaf electroscope can be used to de detect the presence of radioactive emissions. Okay. Seconds, you need to know it can only be used to detect alpha emissions. Only alpha, okay. Gamma, uh, beta, okay. Ionizing effects too low can be detected. Okay. And third, you need to know how it functions. Okay. Alpha particles ionize the, ionize the air. Okay. So the negative particles move to the electroscope, neutralize the charge, and the gold leaf close.